Okay, let's continue with uh, level 19. Uh, a pusher robot with sound. Okay, a pusher robot with sound is uh, actually you have a mission to push a color ball. Okay, um, you can read one by one tutorial. Okay, as you can see that in this map you have a few obstacles to be uh, passed by. Okay, uh, for example, this one is uh, a ghost. You see, okay, you need to use a key, a key note sound to move away the ghost and you continue the mission. Okay, this one. So you can see that there is a color ball here, the the orange and the blue here. So you need to push, slowly push the ball into the designated area here. This one is a drop off point for you to drop off the, the ball and then you will get the marks and then finish the mission, okay, pass through the, um, the obstacle here which is the ghost and do the mission and then go inside the portal door here right in this level 19 i will i will teach you on how to how to control the movement of the robot okay by using changing uh, by using the concept of changing the speed i mean the power here okay m1 and m m2 some of the part you can use uh, that concept okay, i will show you straight to do the um, programming first of all you need to move forward your robot okay as usual start give the power give the direction okay give the direction and then this one how many seconds for moving forward and then break okay and then break this one one second one second is enough it will break here okay what i mean just now okay uh, controlling the movement of the robot uh, when you want to turn to the right side just only the DC uh, just use the DC motor M1 and M2 with a different um, power speed okay like this use a new power for turning to the right side okay and then CW Without changing the CW to CCW, also you can make it uh, turning to the right side. Okay, this one for example use 70. If let's say that you want to turn to the right side, okay, if you want to turn to the right side, just reduce the number of the power on the M1 or um, right DC motor. Okay, lower the, the value of the DC motor for M1, then your robot will turn to the right side. This one just remains CW, CW. Okay, how many seconds for turning to the right? So just assume or estimate 2.2. 2.2 and then break. Okay, and then break. This one. Okay. Check your programming. Moving forward and turn right. 2.2 second. Alright, as you can see. Now, your robot is turning to the right at the same time it's moving forward. Okay, this one. Why it's still moving forward when you are turning? Because the number of weight here is higher. Okay, the higher the number here, the far that your, your robot will move here. Okay, so this one. It seems like 2.2 is not perfect turn, uh, facing to the this. This goes, so I will increase 0 0.05, which is, which is this one, I will put um, 2.25 seconds. And then, how to move away this goes, you need to use, you need to repeat sound two times. You need to repeat time, uh, you need to repeat the sound two times. What kind of sign, uh, of sound that you, you will need to use here is actually the A key, the A key sound. The A key. Don't forget to use a weight block after the play sound A key block. Right, this one. Okay. Okay. So you move away the, the ghost and then you will continue the mission. 
All right, how to continue the mission? As usual, use back, give back the power because you already break here. CW, move forward CW, M1 and M2. For how many seconds? Don't forget to set. This one, let's say that I want to choose 2.3. 2.3 seconds forward and push the ball inside the designated area. And then, once I push, I want to going backward. I want to going backward, so I will use CCW. CCW for how many seconds? Let's see. Uh, with control, with block. 2.2 second. 2.2 second. Okay. Then, once you uh, going backward, as you can see, okay, it's okay. We, we stop here and check the programming before we proceed to the other uh, step for the next step. Okay. Oops. Again. Okay. This one I want to add more. This one. Or actually here. This one just put 2.3. Just increase a bit, okay? Don't just simply increase uh, with a higher number of seconds. Okay. Okay. Right? 2.3. Let's now change to 2.3. And then push the ball to the designated area. And going back with 2.2 seconds. Okay, next one. I want to turn to the left side. I want to turn to the left side. Okay. I want to turn to the left side. So I will put uh, this one. I will continue using the same power here. Okay, left side is M2 will be CCW. M2 will be CCW. Okay. M2 will be CCW. So, how many seconds for turning to the left is 4.3. 4.3. And then moving forward, how many seconds? I will guess here this one is only 0 0.5. So, moving forward. 0 0.5 just use the the same power okay this one 0 0.5 because this this distance is too close so 0 0.5 is just nice Okay, it is better for you to put a weight block after the break before you play a sound A key just now. Okay. Turn left 4.3 uh, second. Okay, and then going forward 0 0.5 second. Oh, 0 0.5 is not enough. So I will change to 0 0.8. Or actually, I think 1 is okay. Okay. One stop in front of the ghost. So, we will proceed to play the sound. Okay. We will play the sound. We will play the sound. Which sound just now? Repeat two times. A key. Two times. A key note. Right? A key note. A key note. Okay. A key note. Okay. Push the orange color ball. 
if let's say that you want to to use a lower number of the power okay, when you 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 try to bring to the designated area also can because it will secure your ball okay, okay. this one right as you can see here actually this movement and move here until here is the same as what you did here after the first ghost just now the first ghost you need to play the sound and push the ball inside the designated area so this one is the same after the ghost push the ball into the designated area and then you need to backward this one also backward and then turn left this one is also same turn left and need to move away the ghost exactly the same also here so what i want to tell you here is actually you can use a repeat block because from this position uh, i mean from this um, movement until here is actually uh, the same the same action okay the same action okay until here until you play uh, the sound at this you can use a repeat block but at which part that you can use the repeat block is actually here okay it's actually starting from the first uh, sound of the ghost okay the first sound of the goat means that everything must put it inside the repeat block so put a two repeat block two times repeat okay because you uh, uh, repeat the same thing for two times here this ball and also this ball and then it will stop until you play the second sound of the uh, note here i mean this one after this goes you need to you need to continue the programming here okay let's see if you use a repeat block this is Okay, then you can proceed. Okay, push the ball. Okay, I think you can you can you can change the number of uh, turning after this. Okay. Maybe you can slightly uh, move your robot, slightly turning to the left, or also you can move forward. Don't worry. Okay, move forward. As long as you are not uh, go outside the, the, the track. If let's say that you don't want to use a repeat block, also can. But your programming will become longer. So, depends on you if you want to use a normal programming without using the repeat block, uh, no problem. So, you can you, you can decide which concept that you want to use. Okay, this one just put 2 or 3, 2.5. Right? Okay. <coughs> okay, if let's say that you want to split here, okay, if you want if let's say that you want to split here, every movement that you want to put a break, no problem. Okay? 
Uh, so, uh, if let's say that you want to put uh, after uh, after going to the left 2.3, you want to put a break and put a new a new power for this, you also can. No problem. Okay. Alright. That's all for level 19. So, uh, let's go to uh, the last video, which is level number 20.